What's up everybody, it's Enes here and welcome to another episode. Today we're coming to you from Santa Monica, California and going to tour this beachfront contemporary Spanish estate right behind me that features five bedrooms, eight bathrooms on the market for $21,995,000. The design elements and the finishes of this home are some of the best we have ever seen, especially for the price point and that's why I'm really, really excited for today's video. I also want to give big thanks to the listing agent, Joyce Ray, and her team for making this tour possible. And as always, you can find more information about this listing in the description of this video. And now, let's begin our tour. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. House is located on the iconic Pacific Coast Highway. From the street level, we have the access to the two car garage. And then we have this door opening up to this walkway, which takes you to your backyard and to your front door. Four levels, indoor outdoor flow, access to the beach. And we have the front door here. Let's go inside. As soon as you walk in, you get a glimpse of how bespoke and unique this property is with its architectural details furnishings, accessories, light fixtures throughout. I'm really excited for this tour and your front door opens up to the main floor of this estate. Now, we have the formal dining area here, which then leads you to your seating area. But before we talk about these spaces, I wanna take everybody outside. We have these floor to ceiling, custom steel cased accordion doors opening up, seamless indoor outdoor flow. And we have the patio space here off of the main floor, your outdoor dining area, complemented with a fireplace, which also serves as a built-in seating. It's stone clad with steel details. Then you have your outdoor kitchen on this side with a concrete sink, but more importantly, your views. We have the Pacific Ocean right in front of us, your beach access, your incredible backyard. This property is phenomenal. Yeah, this is uh, incredible. I always love this location. We toured one other house a few doors down from here. Correct. About a year ago, I'd say. Give or take. Yeah, um, and I always thought it'd be so cool to live on Santa Monica Beach. It's kind of, I think, one of the most iconic locations in Los Angeles and kind of what everyone outside of LA associates with the city, you know? Couldn't agree more. And I gotta say, although this is your backyard, which we'll tour in a bit, which looks incredible, you open up the door right there and you go straight to the beach. Beach is your backyard and that's what you buy when you live in a property like this, which is just, I can't even imagine being able to walk outside every single day, yeah. go for a hike, go for a swim, go for a surf. Well, for you and I, we live deep in the city. So whenever we want to go to the beach, it's it's daunting. It's like an hour and a half to get there. It's like parking, the whole th renting a bike or whatever you want to do, it's, it's a nightmare. But this, you just walk out and it's right there. Absolutely, and what's great is that you get to enjoy these views from all four levels with this property, and we're gonna tour every single one of them. Now, let's take everybody back inside, straight to the seating area. It's a phenomenal space, and the details here with the built-in cabinetry and these glass shelves. Stained mirror back wall that complements the look. And then we have the fireplace here, spacious seating area. You have a long couch here for you to sit down, relax, and enjoy these views. Marble coffee table, few chairs, and really unique bookshelf design, which I'll cover in a bit. Overall, what I love about the space is the fact that we have all these different types of materials that come together, work very cohesively, and give this house or give this room a very, very distinct look. Now, of course, we have these accordion doors opening up. That way, this room is connected to the outdoors. We have a really unique piano around the corner. And then, to bring more depth and an interesting feature to this room, the developer here came up with this bookshelf design. And I like that all these shelves are angled in this diamond pattern, which is very unique. And right in the center, they have a deconstructed lobster shell as an art piece with backlighting. I don't think we've ever seen an art piece like this before. Yeah, this is really unique. I don't even know if the camera does it justice, but uh, it, I mean, it looks like a, like almost like a dinosaur skeleton in a museum, you know? It's so exquisite and I think they've cleaned up the shell and they've epoxied it, so they've kind of preserved it. Yeah. And it looks incredible, super creative. It's a massive lobster also. Correct. Yeah. That's it for the seating area. Again, beautiful finishes, very bespoke. And coming this way, we have this dresser separating the living room from the formal dining room. Solid wood table right in the center, seating for 12. 
I really like these olive green Minotti chairs. And then above we have two crystal chandeliers. I really like that space is very open. You can walk around the table very easily. And to tie in the New York loft and industrial details, they have these exposed steel columns. And if you follow the columns all the way to the ceiling, it then transitions to a reclaimed beam in between these columns. Space looks gorgeous. Same reclaimed hardwood floors are also here. Around the corner, we have a powder room, which we'll see in a bit. And I love the exposed brick back wall where we have the staircase. It just gives depth to the dining area and it just ties in the whole experience. Now, before we move on, I wanna talk about a couple details. Number one, all the furniture in this house comes with the sale of the property. Wanted to mention that. We have two steel cased French doors here bringing natural light. And if you look at the property, and the lot itself, it's very linear, meaning the house is very close to the edges of the property line. And for that reason, it's nice to have French doors or windows on the sides of the property to bring more natural light to the center of the home since it's a very elongated property design. Now, that's it for the formal dining area. I wanna take everybody this way. We have this opening taking us to the kitchen, but before, Mikey, can we show this detail? You have a really nice opening from your kitchen straight to your dining area. And I just love these old school reclaimed shutter window details here. Yeah, we walked through the home with the developer earlier and he's he is just obsessive when it comes to collecting pieces from around the world. So. Curating pieces. Exactly. He has he has pieces from Istanbul, from India, from all around the world, all around the world uh, featured in this home. Uh, this piece is from France Yeah. with a marble top. And then you have a Minotti modern olive green chair and somehow he pulls it all together. Just like Anna said, there's all these different styles kind of mishmashed together, but they work incredibly well. And give this house a very distinct look, yeah. very distinct. All right, let's go check out the kitchen. Before we continue our tour, I wanna to talk about this week's video sponsor, Hippo Insurance Services, which offers a new type of home insurance tailored for today's homeowners. Mikey and I recently moved into a new house and it can be overwhelming to worry about everything that can go wrong. Especially when we're 6,000 miles away at Lake Cuomo trying to show you all some crazy stuff. That's right. Well, Hippo provides a support system that proactively protects your home by leveraging smart home tech, which can include smart water sensors, smoke detectors, security cameras, and home care services for all eligible customers. With the smart tech, you may even save up to 25% a year on your premium. With HIPAA Home Care, experts are just a call away, offering advice to help you prevent the kinds of problems we experience every day. Add to that four times higher coverage limits included in their course on home office and electronics. And using the HIPAA website is super fast and easy. It only takes 60 seconds to get a free code. It's 100% online, so you can sign up for a policy in less than five minutes. With Hippo, it's that quick and simple to protect the joy of home ownership. Upgrade to smarter home insurance through Hippo Insurance Services today. Go to hippo.com slash NS Plus to get a free code for your home in seconds. And now, let's get back to our tour. This is another gorgeous space. We have all these different types of materials coming together in this room. First, I wanna talk about the floors. We have these colorful cement tiles, which give this kitchen a very young and chic look. Then you have your wood tone cabinetry, which is all inset, meaning all the drawer fronts and doors are recessed in to the frames of the cabinetry. Then you have your marble countertops, marble backsplash. And on this side, we have the first set of base cabinets, two Mila commercial dishwashers, and right in the center, we have this custom copper sink. And I gotta say, this is probably the deepest sink we have ever seen on our channel. It's definitely a custom fabrication and it looks very aged, beautiful, complements the brass fixture here. Looks gorgeous. Yeah, I really like this. Typically, we would see this being like, being like a hand beaten sink, I feel like, but I, yes. like, I like that it's just like smooth and clean. It's flat. Yeah, we never really see that. It's a unique touch for sure. Then we have steel case windows, some uppers. Then on the other side, you have your coffee bar with an espresso machine, small informal dining area. And right in the center, we have this gorgeous island. Again, marble countertop with this big reveal. Another sink on this side. Then on the other side, we have the door for the pantry, microwave, additional cabinetry. And coming here, your paneled fridge and freezers are on this side, marble countertop. 60 inch wolf gas stove, commercial vent above tucked into the cabinetry. And on this side to bring more color to the space, 
they have these blue, I wanna say glazed drawer fronts, which are just fun and a uh, beautiful kitchen. I gotta say my favorite details are these cement floor tiles, which we're gonna see throughout the property as well. Now, that's it for the kitchen. Let's go back to the dining area. Before we go to the staircase, I wanna take everybody this way. We have the steps taking us down to the lower level, and then we have this door opening up to a powder room. Although this is small space, it's packed with details. This vanity came from India. Then we have this tiger's eye slabs on the back wall, and they use the same slabs to fabricate the sink. I gotta say, I have never seen this material before. It's a gemstone. It's a metamorphic rock, based on my research. Metamorphic? Yes. Interesting. I assume that means it's like was something else and now it's this. It formed into something else over time. Yeah, like a diamond or something. Heat and pressure. Super unique. Yeah. This is the first time we're seeing the stone. And then you have these unique fixtures, totally on the other side. Very eclectic, very unique powder room. Now, let's go back outside. Again, dining area. And now let's cover the staircase. Obviously, it matches the rest of the home. I really like that this entire staircase assembly is set away from the wall a little bit and they placed an LED lighting to kind of highlight that gap a little bit and also to showcase the imperfections of this exposed brick wall. Threads or the entire staircase is clad with the same reclaimed wood material. And then we have these beautiful custom railings that complements the staircase, which takes us to the second floor. Let's go have a look. Now, off of the landing, we have this small staircase taking us to the primary bedroom, which we'll see in a bit. Two guest bedrooms on this level. We're gonna start with this one. King size bed. This padded back wall goes all the way to the ceiling. Then we have built-in speakers, recessed lights, these ceiling mount light fixtures, two gorgeous side tables. Then you have your built-in cabinetry on this side with a TV. And I really like that each one of the bedrooms that we're about to see are like a hotel room of their own. They have their own built-in refrigerators. If you look around, there are bottles of waters right next to each one of the beds, flowers, candles, scents. It's a very curated experience. Yeah, and uh, I gotta say, Ennis and I just got back from Europe, or the whole team just got back from Europe, and something about each of these bedrooms has this very European feel to it. I can't really put my finger on what it feels like to I'll be in Europe. I'll go one step ahead. Yeah. These bedrooms do feel like the guest staterooms of the yachts that we toured. Yeah, well I was thinking more of the homes in like Saint-Tropez, that kind of thing. There's some kind of feeling you get from these European homes that I can't really put into words, but it just doesn't feel like homes in the US. Color palettes, uniqueness of the furniture and accessories, and I think all of that coming together is giving you that Saint-Tropez feel. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's continue. Of course, this room has its own bathroom. Just like the kitchen, we also have the cement floor tiles here floating vanity and the frame of the vanity is all stone then you have your drawers copper sink steel case windows walk-in shower that's also a steam shower you have a rain handy here beautiful stonework gorgeous bathroom moving on right at the end of the hallway here we have another guest bedroom currently being used as a kid's bedroom and it starts here this room is front facing super spacious comes with a king size bed and the back wall, padded back wall application here is taken to another level, meaning the entire back wall is all padded. Then you have these really unique AC diffusers, ceiling mount chandeliers, steel case windows, bring in natural light. And I really like that these windows are half frost, half clear for additional privacy. Plush carpet on the floors, your built-in cabinetry here, which is reflective a little bit more on the modern side. And of course, at the entrance of this room, we have the full bathroom. Again, we have a good sized shower here with a built-in heated bench, rain head above. Then you have your vanity on this side, very modern, very elegant. Now, I wanna jump back to the landing of the second floor so we can continue our tour with the primary bedroom suite. I like that it's a little bit elevated from the landing. We have these double doors opening up to the entry of the primary bedroom. Small desk set up here, colorful chair, and then hallway takes you to the bedroom itself. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about are these views. This is unbelievable. 
This like is, this is really nice. Yeah. It took my breath away. It took you a second to get that out because I it's forgot that, cool. that like we're so close to the ocean and it's right there. This looks like a movie screen. We have the breeze coming in. We have these steel case accordion doors all opened up. Wow. Yeah, this is awesome. Like I said, this is a really cool location for a house in Los Angeles. You have all these cool areas in LA. You have the hills, you know, you have beachfront properties, but I don't think you have anything that's really like this iconic, you know? Just amazing. Palm trees, beach access. You have the walkway there. People are biking, walking their dogs, enjoying the scenery. We actually have a few sailboats. This is gorgeous. This is stunning. Yeah, this is kind of the type of time of year, by the way, guys. It's a little gloomy. Yeah, like this this whole side of LA is, is a little like kind of foggy and hazy, but it doesn't really matter. You're, Luckily, you're... house is phenomenal. Yeah. So. I mean, you're right there, so you can go out to the beach any time of year, you know? And I mean, California is known for its weather, so. Yeah. All right, let's walk back in. Look how spacious this room is. We have a fireplace on the right-hand side. Vaulted ceilings. We also have these reclaimed beams contrasting nicely against the white wood class ceiling. Recessed lights, built-in speakers, king-size bed right in the center. And we also have the same reclaimed wood hardwood floors. But on this application, they're a little bit thinner planks and they're installed in a chevron pattern. So it's a little different. It gives each one of the levels a little bit of a different feel. Lounging chair, these curated side tables with a marble top. And then we have the projector above because we have a drop down screen on this side. That way you can either leave it like this open, enjoy the views or push up a button. You can roll down your screen, watch your TV, enjoy this room. The views aren't gonna be as good at night so you can just watch a movie instead, you know? There you go. All right guys, that's it for the bedroom area. I wanna take everybody back to the hallway so we can check out the primary bathroom. Marble floors, marble walls. These floors are also heated. And on this side, we have the vanity design. It's floating. And just like the other bathroom that we just toured, the entire frame is all stone. Then you have your drawers. And in the center, they have this open section for your towels, two drop-in sinks, these ornate faucets, wall sconces. You have your mirror here. And on the other side, with this raised section, we have this copper freestanding tub. And since it's copper, it ages beautifully over time. But more importantly, we have this opening that connects the bathroom to the bedroom area. It's not a glass, it's just an open section. You can use these reclaimed shutters to close it off to bring additional privacy to the bathroom. Or you can open it like this that way from your tub or from your bathroom, you enjoy the views. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Um, they have the same thing in the shower, but uh, I can't imagine being able to sit in the tub, look out of the ocean whenever you want. Absolutely, it's a very clever touch. And by the way, before we leave here, they also have a towel heater. It's just a nice detail. Coming on this side, glass door opens up. This is your walk-in shower, all stone clad, has a steam feature, rain head above, and we have the glass fogged up right now. Push up a button, you can make it clear, see the ocean, or leave it like this for additional privacy. Now, water closet is off of the entry of this bathroom, and coming here, we have this door opening up to the closet. It's definitely a good size room. I like that all the cabinetry here is built in and all your clothes are stored behind these drawer fronts and these doors. It gives you this minimalist look. And I don't want to go into more details because owners are currently occupying this property. So I want to respect their privacy. And with that, we're done with the primary bedroom. Now, I want to take everybody back to the landing of this floor and take the stairs. So we can check out the top floor. We have two more bedrooms on this level. First one starts here, another king size bed another padded wall that goes all the way to the ceiling, reclaimed beams, this really unique ceiling fan in the center, built-ins on this side, your TV, this room is also front facing and comes with a full bathroom. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the landing and take these steps so we can check out the last bedroom. The way this room is laid out and its design elements are pretty similar to the primary bedroom that we just toured, but on a smaller scale, it faces the same use. It has the same opening that looks into your bathroom. We have the king size bed here, vaulted ceilings above, fireplace, some built-ins, same reclaimed hardwood floors. And I gotta give huge credit to the designer here, Mallory Design, for doing a phenomenal job at this house. It shows how creative you can get with a space when it comes to your furniture, accessories, textures, 
finishes and details and creates such a unique experience as you go up each floor. I feel like every level is a house on its own. Every room is a space on its own. And I know that's not an easy thing to accomplish. A lot of times we tour these big homes and bedrooms and certain spaces can feel very similar. But in this house, every room has its own identity. Now, another detail I wanna point out, we have the accordion glass doors opening up here to the patio, cement floor tiles, unbelievable views. I mean, I can't get over it. Every level looks into these views and because we're on the top floor right now, our elevation is great. We have a plunge pool right in the center. It's just a great spot to kick back, relax, and enjoy the California weather, you know? Yeah, this uh, is not the primary bedroom, but it's the bedroom I would choose to have, you know? Well, you're on, on a level on your own. You're kind of by yourself on this wing. Yeah. It's kind of nice. It's, it's a good size too. A uh, couple more details. Above us, we have an awning. They have it on each level. And coming here, drop down screen for your projector. And before we leave this room, I wanna talk about one more detail. So this house has a very, very valuable ocean frontage. And as the architect, as the developer, as the designer, you wanna make sure you maximize these views on each level. Thus, they have placed these steel cased accordion doors. Now, instead of going with sliding glass doors, they went with this direction because when you have sliding glass doors, you tend to stack them on each side. And that takes very valuable real estate, especially takes away from your views. That's why having accordion doors for a house like this with a limited ocean frontage is the right call. So I wanted to explain that in case some of you are wondering why they have accordion glass doors instead of the sliding glass doors that we see all the time. Now, that's it for the bedroom. Let's go back to the entry so we can check out the bathroom for this room, marble clad walk-in shower right at the entry. Then we have another copper freestanding tub. Just like the primary bedroom, we have another opening facing the views with these reclaimed shutters. Window on the side, vanity right here. It's also the same design as the primary bedroom, but the countertop here is actually very, very unique. So this is a single piece steel with this wax finish. So that way it doesn't get rusted. And then you have two drains pictures. This is cool, huh? That's really cool. You know what I'm gonna ask you? <laughs> Let's see it run. In case you're wondering, Mike has an obsession with water running through faucets. Oh, I didn't know. It also drains on the other side. Well, yeah, if it overflows on the right, it goes to the left, you know? This is super cool. Again, my hats off to the designer. With that, we're done with the bathroom. Now I wanna take the stairs so we can check out the lower level. Off of the staircase landing, we have the footers of the foundation, which they left it exposed. Same brick wall is also here. You can see the grout lines. Again, it adds up to the industrial feel of this house. So that whole thing, that, that's a pretty thick piece of concrete. That's, that's all foundation. Correct. This is the footer. So when you think about a foundation, you have footers, basically columns or walls that goes deep into the ground. Then you have your floors. Floors actually don't do much of a structural work besides holding footers kind of together. It's really the footers that holds up the walls and the structure of the home. How deep into the ground do those go? Depending on your location, soil anywhere from 10 feet all the way to 60, sometimes 100 feet into the ground. So there's a, the just a big square going 100 feet in the ground. This basically. wall goes straight down. Really? To the, yeah, all the way to the bedrock. I guess we are on sand, so. Uh... Which you cannot build on, meaning this goes all the way to the bedrock yeah. that's below the sand. And they left it exposed and I like to see structural elements of the house exposed on the inside. It just shows you the strength and kind of power of the house. Adds up to a little bit of an industrial feel, right? There you go. Now, off of the landing, we go straight to the center of the lower level. Before we continue this side, I wanna cover here. This is your screening room. I really like this U-shaped couch, and every time we take a break, I come down here to enjoy it. It's super, super comfortable. Then you have this wood paneled back wall, projector, screen on this side built-in speakers, aquarium to kind of add up to the space, mm -hmm. and look at the built-ins that's below and above with the woodwork and how it's curved. All these curated pieces, super cool. Yeah, this is really nice. I like that old uh, vintage projector up top too. There you go. That's more of a decoration though, you know. That is. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's continue. We have a room here. This could be another bedroom, study, library. They actually have a Murphy bed here. You can pull it down. That would be cool to sleep next to a fish tank. 
right? It would be a cool view. Yeah. And uh, they have another coffee bar here. I don't think I mentioned every single room has a coffee maker, every single corner. Anytime you put your hand to the right, there's an espresso machine. I love that. I, this, that's my goal. Maybe that's what was reminding me of Saint Tropez because every place we've toured there is like, like every room feels like a hotel. Are those refrigerators in there? Yes, these drawers are. Nice coffee bar, some built-in cabinetry around it. Full bathroom here. It's a good size room. Yeah, really like it. Let's continue. Now, back to the screening room. You can also use the curtains here or these accordion doors to close off this section if you want to. Right in the center, we have this open space, Technogym equipment attached to the wall, mirror walls, ping pong table, which you and I should play a game after this tour. I'm just tired of, I'm tired of winning, you know? That's, that's a lie. Uh, really nice space, same hardwood floors here, installed in a herringbone pattern. And before we go outside, I wanna actually take everybody this way. Off of the entry, we have this vanity with a steel sink, just like the one that we saw in the top floor bedroom. Really cool fixtures and the walls and the floors here is this stone called Meteoris. And it comes from Turkey. And I've never seen a stone like this before with rubies and the textures that we have. And your entire steam room is clad with this stone, including the benches. It's a really cool space. Can you hear the echo here? Yeah, it sounds really nice. I like that little porthole to your right also. It's a little yachting, sailing influence in here. The, uh, the designer said that he spent a lot of time in, in Turkey. So uh, we didn't really do a fantastic job of pointing out all the Turkish elements there are in this house, but there are quite a few. I mean, we did our best. There are so many details throughout, and this is the steam room, and there you go. All right, moving on. Back to the center of this lower level, Again, we have this open space, accordion glass doors opening up, seamless indoor outdoor flow, and we have the outdoor kitchen here. I gotta really compliment this outdoor kitchen. A lot of times all we see is a little bit of a countertop space, sink, maybe a few refrigerated drawers and a gas grill, but this one has it all. It's fully decked out. I love the stainless steel fronts. You have a dishwasher here, sink, upper cabinets, island in the center with a marble countertop and these reclaimed legs, again, matches the style of the home really well. Then on the other side, you have a proper pizza oven, your gas grill with a vent, that way all your smoke or all your smell doesn't go into the house. This is super nice outdoor kitchen. I was gonna say this when we first walked in the house on the dining room level, but uh, I would love to come to a party at this house or like a dinner party or something. Uh, it just has a really cool vibe. I can imagine it Flow. at night full of people, you know, uh, a few drinks, good food. It just seems like it'd be a lot of fun. Good food, good vibes. That's right. All right, now let's take these steps so we can go check out the backyard. Now the backyard of this property is super unique. Obviously, because it's a narrow lot, but it's a very long lot, they wanted to make the best out of this outdoor space. And I think they did a fantastic job here. I really like that hedging is very tall, makes the space feel very private. Landscaping looks gorgeous. Right in the center, we have this grass section. Steps on this side takes you up to the main level. And Mikey, can we turn back so we can look at the house for a second? Again, we have accordion glass doors on every single level, opening this house up to the views. And what I said about accordion doors, you can really see them in good use here because they're tucked all the way to the parameter walls. That way, literally every single level is as open as possible to these views. Now, continuing on this side, we have the deck space here, another outdoor lounging area, which then leads you to your infinity edge pool. This is a super cool design. Obviously, it's above ground. We have the hot tub on the other side. And because this is not the biggest or the widest backyard, they had to go a little bit smaller for their pool. But the way they designed it and positioned it, it really adds up to this backyard. Now, I wanna actually take the steps right here so we can tour the last part of this backyard, which is this section here lounging area, surfboard, because we have this door opening up to the beach. This is awesome. This is incredible. I mean, I can't imagine living like this, being so close to the water all the time and access it whenever you want. This is an experience. All 
right, everyone, that's it for the tour. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I wanna congratulate Mallory Design for doing a fantastic job with this house. And I wanna give big thanks to the listing agent, Joyce Ray and her team for making this tour possible. And as always, you can find more information about this listing in the description of this video. So make sure to check it out. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.